o'clock, so I'll call this special call council meeting of Hartford City Council on November 21st, 2019 to order. And I'll ask Brother David if you give us an invocation, please. Yes, sir. Let's bow our heads. Father God, we thank you for this night, Lord. We thank you for this meeting for the city of Hartford, Lord. We ask you to touch and let us be on one accord as we go through this tonight, Lord. And we're doing this for the city of Hartford, for the people. And we're looking for growth in this city, Lord, and new things. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, All right. Uh, we'll open the floor for any investors that want to address us. Jeremy, you want to speak sure. to the council? I'll go first. And I come in peace. I'm like, okay. Uh, I've put together a proposal to where I'd like to earn the ability to become the city of Hartford's outdoor equipment supplier. And unfortunately, I don't have enough copies. But this is kind of a list of units that are kind of what you're using now. And this is our current price, and this is what the city's price would be. In addition to that, you would get 20% off Echo handheld equipment. We also uh, have UTVs, and I've put together two down here that I think would, would serve the city. We have other models and stuff that are not listed on here, but these are the ones that are most equivalent to what you're currently using. And as well, I wanted to bring this. This is a community project that we're doing. We're doing a raffle to benefit nonprofits. We ran all of uh, it on Facebook, and people were nominated by the community. Uh, on here is a list of the ones that were nominated, and this is kind of like our uh, miniature press release we did on it. So I'll leave that here, too. You and want to explain to them about your new venture? Or? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I've just started a power sport dealership, which is down in the ODMS building. Uh, we carry uh, Spartan mowers, Intimidator UTVs, um, Echo handheld equipment. We also carry uh, uh, Echo Bearcat and Billy Goat, which those pertain to you guys in the fact that they're debris loaders, uh, mulchers, stuff you'd pull behind on the trucks. Um, we're also a full service uh, repair and parts dealership for most major brands. Um, of course, some of the brands, if I'm not a uh, <clears throat> carrier, then I can't get an OEM part. It's aftermarket, but I do have the ability to do that. Um, in addition to this venture, I also own a lawn care landscape company in town. So, but this is kind of my newest thing that I have here. And then most of these items, one or more of these are available to be viewed. You know, you know, if I don't have them, there'll be an equivalent there, if not an exact of, of one of these. Like I know right now, like on the UTV, I do have one of the 1,000 ones there that could be viewed, and it's similar to the 750. There's some minor differences, but I could point those out. And the same thing on those mowers. I know I have one of the 54-inch ones. I don't have some of these other ones, but there's a real pretty one on display at the wellness center. Yep, that's it. Yeah, and that's part of this community project that we're doing. And the wellness center was one of the uh, the nominees for that. So I'm just trying to get the word out there. Up until now, as far as I know, you guys only had one option if you wanted to stay local so hopefully this will help the city as far as pricing budget wise and also I mean even if it's not with me maybe to get you a better deal with with whoever as well of course I'd like the opportunity to to earn your business you know I don't feel like you owe it to me but I'd like to prove that and have the opportunity to serve you guys so that's pretty much like I said that's pretty much the offerings and I've got way more than that but that's the most compared to what you're currently using and then i'll leave this too if All that's right. okay it's about the community project so you guys have any questions for me i'm not much of a public speaker so you're doing fine <laughs> that was easy we usually grill them pretty well, good. I, well i'm ready you know i'm trying to be ready <laughs> anybody have any questions grill pretty good on the hills yeah absolutely uh like I mentioned, I own a lawn care company, and up until this year, we ran the Skag, mm -hmm. and uh, actually the Spartan um, SRT XD is what we switched to, and it holds heels better than those Skags do. What about a school? Yeah. I, you know, I run that heel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I even have uh, a demo of that SRT XD. Do you? Yep, so come get it and, and run it, even if you don't cut grass, just to see if it'll hold the heel the way you want okay. it to. 
but it's got 16 cc pumps so that should be plenty it's got a big engine 37 horse so <clears throat> you don't have any push 26 inch motors <laughs> no i don't not yet but hey you know we, I'm, i need to explore that option for sure she tried to tell us she'd push it more <laughs> <laughs> she pushed the hill is what i'm hearing <laughs> when was the last time you started a lot more <laughs> well, you get fell when off. I look, fell off of that one, man, <laughs> but it's the last one I ventured. Everyone I buy, somebody comes and gets it because they think I'm going to kill myself. Oh, uh, the engines! I listed them on here. The ones that I propose to you guys. Yeah, who, who, who does these? You all building them yourself? Or? No, the mowers are that come equipped with these engines, and these are Briggs Big Block Vanguard engines. Oh. There's also Cowie engines available. I just put together what right. I would recommend. I think would best suit your needs. Uh, the Cowie engines are usually five to eight hundred dollars more per unit, roughly. But in my opinion, commercially, these are what we run. You know, our, on my company, so those are the ones that I would recommend. But like I said, there's other options. Uh, I mean, like you could even there's step downs from these, but these are compared to the current X marks that you're running. Okay. Anybody have any more questions? All right. Yeah, absolutely. Come down and, and like I said, if any of you guys want to see them, the UTVs are, are in house, the mowers are in house. So, and I can explain to you. You can ask more questions. I can provide information on other models. Uh, the phone number is listed on the top. And so, that is it. All right. Well, Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and look at the minutes from our last meeting. If you take a quick gander of those, and then I'll entertain a motion to adopt those minutes as they've been presented. Unless you have some clarifications, uh, questions, additions, deletions. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Motion's made. A second. Second. All in favor of the hand. Do you all have a page two? Pardon? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's three, right? I don't have. Oh, yeah, there's a two. Oh. Mm. No. It's, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I thought that was the. Uh, or it, the just, a different, yeah. it had a different yeah. font on it. Yeah, I got one. Okay, then. Uh, Tara, do you have anything for us tonight? Mm, not unless. Not until we get down to that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, take a look at the bank statements there. If you have any questions about any of those or any of the incomes or the account balances, account reports, anything, now would be a time. <coughs> I know we try to make these available to you before the meeting so that you can spend a little more time looking at them. But. Make a motion to accept the count balances. All right. Uh, is there a second to that motion? <coughs> All right. Anybody have any questions or discussion about anything? Okay. All in favor of it, hand. Thank you. Motion carried. All right. Uh, we're down to our old business. Um, we have right now the second reading of the parking ordinance on West Union Street. So if somebody will read that for me and then we can entertain a motion to adopt it. Just the top part of all. I read it. All right. An ordinance imposing parking restrictions on portions of West Union Street in downtown Hartford. All right. Anybody have any discussion about the ordinance at all? Is there a motion to adopt this ordinance in? I make a motion. All right. I'll take second. It. No discussion? Okay, all in favor of adopting the ordinance? David first. She was first. She was first. She was second. Everybody's in favor? Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, community coordinator. Well, 
have got an update on that? Or? Um, the we'll EEC do. met and following the instructions, I think you all kind of wanted us to create some sort of description for what they do and there was some discussion between contract versus uh, employee and I think the recommendation was to go with the contract employee or not a contract but a contract type uh, with an individual for this community coordinator and if you have read it in the paper um, it's in its second week yes yeah. and it's to um, it, to organize and execute no less than two events per year be liaison between businesses and residents um, and to help manage a website and social media accounts as well as some other economic development type activities um, and we've asked that they submit all their proposals, cover letters, resumes, no later than the 27th, which at which time the EDC is hoping to kind of gather those and make a recommendation to the council, hopefully in the next meeting. All right. Anybody have any questions for... Have you got any responses? I had several calls. Good. We've had several here at the, at the White House. And <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Careful there, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to bring a little levity to the mood. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we've had several that uh, seem to be very knowledgeable and, and would be good candidates, viable candidates. So good. I was That's good. very pleased. That's good. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, the uh, code enforcement officer, um, I do have one application, and that's Tony's son, uh, Jeff. He took the uh, – I haven't had anybody else apply for it. I don't know that I've announced <laughs> he's advertised either for it. Um, we probably need to advertise for it, but I think Jeff's probably going to be our best prospect at it right now. But. I uh, should have advertised before now, but uh, we'll put in the paper the next couple of weeks and have a quick uh, deadline of maybe two weeks after that. So There's not a lot of grass growing right now. Uh, no, no. Growing. Just trash building <laughs> yeah. up and yeah. accumulating. So you can let him know that uh, we'll have to go through the legal process of advertising. And, but... Uh, you know, I look forward to him putting in his applications. All right. Uh, the I put the fire department tanker back in here again. I think we left the last meeting with maybe some, I don't know if it's misinformation or what. Uh, it seemed that we had left with the understanding that the tanker was just used on rural fires only. And in talking with the fire department, uh, we do have some areas of the city that don't have adequate hydrant coverage. Uh, they're still, we've still got some four-inch hydrants, which are not enough for our tank, uh, pumper. And some there are some areas that don't have, you know, hydrant very close. So um, also too, we, I mean. I'm saying that to say we do have some use for it here in town. Uh, whenever the water tank is modified, it'll be down for quite a while, and we would be susceptible to fires then, and we would need either a tanker or outside help for each fire. Um, and so I just wanted us to discuss this again um, the county has been approached. They have agreed to pay for half of, well, when I say they have agreed, the plan is that they will pay for it being the budget for the next meeting. And uh, There's approval in the paper today. That was out of uh, discretionary funds. Oh, yeah, the discretionary or just the down payment. Yeah. Yeah, down. it was just, uh, they, they paid just to hold the tanker. Okay. Uh, there's another department up there. It's in Connecticut, I believe. It's in Connecticut, isn't it? Yeah. And they uh, had another 
department nearby that was interested in it, but they couldn't get the uh, necessary funding okay from their uh, governing body. So anyway, um, did, did you all want to describe the tanker? Yeah, and, I some, uh, uh, this I, is Tim. I only got He's a copy. I uh, did my printer acting crazy, but if y'all want to take it, look at it. Um, everything, all all the features on that truck is uh, on that list, and the pictures of the truck. It's a really nice truck to be that older model. It's only got like twenty one thousand miles on it. Um, so that, for that type of truck, that's probably a six hundred thousand dollar truck brand new. And we just cannot find any used trucks below fifty thousand. Tankers are very, very hard to find. Uh, they they use them just like we do until they just fall apart, and they in a half two case. Uh, yeah, is this one you found on the deal? Well, they found it and referred it to me. Yeah, that's yeah, the cheapest, the best yeah. deal that we could possibly find. Uh, <clears throat> it's a ninety-two model. It's it is a Spartan. It's a it is a built by a fire truck company. Um, it's got a Detroit diesel six cylinder and 450 horsepower. Why are you looking at me? I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> you ran one thing. It's got a, yeah. a, it's got a those last automatic year. transmission, which our fire department requires because some of our fellows yeah. don't drive and straight we, shifts. What's, oh, no. what's different about that truck versus the one that we had? We can actually take that. On a first out fire anywhere in the city, anywhere in the county, and fight fire off that truck. It's just not a water hauler. It's, it is a multiple use truck, and it also is going to boost our ISO ratings for the city and the county residents because we're able to use that truck as a multifunction truck. <coughs> the truck's only got, like the engine's only got about 2,500 hours on it, which would be probably the equivalent of a yeah. 75,000 mile vehicle, mm -hmm. but it's only got. Well, I think twenty five thousand, twenty yeah, four thousand nine ninety five. I've looked at so many. I think. Um, it's got a thirty four hundred gallon stainless steel tank on it. That should be big enough to fight any fire, especially any house fire out in the county, especially, but here locally too. You know, how many fires have gone already had this season? Three. We've had three in the last two, mm. three weeks. Yeah. And one today. And had one today. And it's the only one in the county, isn't it? What's that? I mean, the extra tanker. No, Centertown's, Centertown's, got, Centertown's got one. Centertown's got one? Okay. They're, they're very hard to get because they're low on high right now. Yeah. Uh, we could page them all day long. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about having access to hydrants here in the city and the water going down. Well, take, for instance, from the pawn shop calling far. We had... Center Towns tanker and our old tanker down there had a dump tank set up in the middle of the street, dumping water in it and sucking it back through our trucks because mm -hmm. we just didn't have enough water. Yeah. We were sucking the jail dry. We sucked numerous water heaters dry because it was just such a big fire and we just didn't have enough, not enough volume. <clears throat> uh, Is it ready to go? It's ready. It's just it's ready to be picked up. We can. There's a, a website if you wanted to go on and look at it. Yeah. Um, well, you see the truck, what the truck looks like. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah, it shows both sides. Yeah. I mean, it's. And it it's, all shined up, I'll say that. Well, it's, it's, all it's, it's, brand new truck. It, it's equipped, it's got, yeah. it's got the lights, you know, the auxiliary lighting for. It's got, uh, it's got all those bells and whistles is supposed to have. And the reason I'm bringing it back is because uh, other than I did fiscal court meeting, uh, Keith went representing the fire department. I wasn't able to go to the meeting. I had another engagement. And he presented this to the fiscal court asking for their help. Well, they went ahead and said, we'll pay the down payment for it right now, or put in a deposit to hold it. And then um, J. 
Jason. Can I have a motion that we go into cold session? <laughs> All right. To discuss contract negotiations oh, okay. and okay. And just for a few minutes. All right. I make a motion we go into closed session. Okay, is there a second? We'll be just discussing contract negotiation. I'd like to ask you all to stay. Okay. We won't take for just a few minutes and then we'll be right back. All right, uh, regarding the, uh, the fire department tanker, do I have a motion to advertise for bids for one? I'll make a motion. All right. Okay. Is there a second? Any discussion? He can do it. I don't care. I'll do. Any discussion? All in favor? All right, thank you. I need to know why we went into close, what her, what her reason is. Just in a minute. It was just a clear. Okay. I mean, I, you know, there's a whole different section that I print depending on the purpose of. Okay. I'll, I'll find the subsection for you. Okay. Sounds good. I thought this one was clear. Terrence is going to find out which one that fit in. The which letter? <laughs> I don't know the letters by heart. There's no way. <laughs> Depending on how that bit, how that. Right here. Alright, got it. Yep. So depending on then how the bid then is written, that you can narrow it down to where it's actually that particular tanker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Correct. Um uh, need a motion for funding now, don't we? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to fund the possible tanker uh through uh, fire department funds and from the OTF. Yeah, we have to know the amounts. We don't know the amount until we get the truck selected. The cover of the well, you can do the, a certain much. amount from the fire department and then the balance. Yeah, from yeah, the yeah, we can do yes. that. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, then entertain a motion that would take thirty thousand from the fire department fund and the remainder from the OTF fund to purchase whatever tanker is proposed. I make that motion. Okay. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Any discussion? Favor? Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, the next is a new business item, and that's the election of a fire chief since uh, Billy Henderson has resigned. Um, the fire department informs me that they have uh, they have selected Chief Puckett to be nominated as the fire chief uh, for their department. Okay. So... Uh, I need a motion and a second and then discussion. Any motion? A motion. Okay. Is there a second? No second. Okay, now discussion. Discussion. All the money still run through the city. Bring in all expenditures and everything. Yep. Okay. And it will remain so. Um, it has to. Yeah. Because there's Purchase no orders have to be. Okay. Everything that's bought has to have a purchase order. They're understanding of that. And approve them and all that. Um, it's just kind of that going the reins in a little bit right now. Yeah. You know, we get into a routine. Any more discussion? What's his background? Well, he's been with the fire department for <laughs> a long, long time. He's old enough to walk. Uh, huh? <laughs> He was born on the truck. He, he was a fire. He was the fire chief. Yeah, uh, he's been a fire chief before. Right, well, it was right. him, yeah. then Scott, and then, and then Billy. Billy. Mm -hmm. yeah. huh? Any more discussion? 
Okay, all in favor of the motion? All right, all opposed? All right, motion is carried. Uh, the last thing is any information? Um, uh, it's been a hectic last few <laughs> weeks. You're enjoying your job, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, our chipper was out. Our chipper was out uh, riding up limbs from the windstorm, from people's yards, things like that. The engine seized on that chipper. It's a three cylinder Perkins engine, the industrial engine, about like what goes in a farm tractor. And so we took it to. Uh, uh, somebody Jason knows down, I think, in uh, McLean County. Anyway, works on these things. He tore it apart. The whole bottom end, of course, is useless. You know, the crankshaft, the bearings, seals, everything. I don't know what they found in the top, but he he called today. He's at he was at training and. Uh, he called today and had received a call from that uh, business, and they said it's uh, they're going to have to have ninety five hundred dollars to rebuild the the engine and the thing. Now we can't vote on it, so I'm probably have to do a telephone poll to see whether you all agree to it. Mm. How much does a new one cost? Uh, it basically, is a new one. A new one anywhere from he originally quoted. Five thousand to I forgot what it was twelve or fifteen thousand. Five sounds better than the nine. What's the difference here? Well, he didn't know until he got in oh. there how much damage it was going to oh, be. Oh, oh, I'm talking about a new one. Oh, new one, Where's fourteen, fifteen thousand, something like that. When's our next meeting, Mayor? Isn't 13th. it early? Thirteenth. Yeah. Right, let's bring it up then. Huh? Let's bring it up then. Come on, Andrew. Wow. <laughs> She don't want her limbs chipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, don't know how many limbs and leaves there are waiting for that chipper. Okay. Yeah. Was it rammed out old, or is there some reason why it messed up? Uh, Not that old. It's old. It's old. It is. Um, now, uh, it's like us, Jerry. It's wearing out. A I'll brand new, like a brand good. new chipper, smaller. Maybe that's where I got the fourteen thousand. A brand new chipper with with a smaller engine. Smaller unit is like fourteen thousand dollars. The one we've got is a good when the engine's good, you know. Uh, Can you tell us see a chipper on the way back from here? They uh, <laughs> we'll look right up to the back of it. Okay. We'll bring it home. Not very frequently. Uh, well, if we don't use it too often, would it be better to contract with one of these other companies? Uh, we'll see if there's a rental. Maybe it's we can try to see or something. Even if we have to do something to get by for now. I mean, because if it costs you ten thousand dollars every year to fix the well, it doesn't. This is the first time that that engine has had to be replaced. You know, so yeah. But if you don't use them, they don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, this industrial it engine is not like it too long. Uh, they have to be started like once a month, though. No matter whether you use them or not. Well, they do get the work out. Okay, I'll try to see what a rental or a contract the contract it out. If I can find somebody to contract it out, it's adding to you to do this. Okay. I'll make you feel good though. I would like to comment to the city that I think the street lights look beautiful. They, they do. do. I came through fantastic. town. And I, I thought that was a no city. Uh, it looks fantastic. <laughs> if I can get them all to burn. And maybe stop getting the trucks to hit them so they don't get yeah. sideways. The one that got hit and spun around. <laughs> doesn't uh, they're going to have to come back and fix that before we're able to pay them okay um, but anyway anybody else have anything you got anything for us Bo? well if you well, want to bring that up tonight or we can bring it up another night about uh, well we can't do any action on anything you can inform us tonight just on reiterating about the annex out there again Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and talk to us about it. We'll be meeting again in about three weeks. 
Well, I mean, uh, we brought it up, what, maybe two years ago, maybe? Um, sorry, I'm late. I was at another meeting at the airport board. Um, just like to iterate again about the uh, annexing out there for the golf course for potential going wet. And uh, we've talked before, basically, I'd be the only one that would be in, in uh, the tax bracket as far as that goes. So I guess I can go back to the fiscal court and I think they're okay. Uh, we just have to get another party involved, private sector to come in and do the alcohol sales for that matter. So just to give you a heads up, if that's something that y'all might be interested in later on, we're, we're ready to move forward with it. So. Who pays for the survey? Well, if we've got a good description and whatnot and everything, we can annex it in by that, by the description. If it's been, a, and I believe it's been surveyed within the last ten years. Yeah, it has. Um, so we can. And this look includes the park and the golf course, or just. Well, that's what I would like to work on later on. Um, oh, and I've kind of chatted. He's asked me a couple of questions on different things, and I've invited him to come to the EDC meeting Tuesday if he can make it, because I know that's been a topic that the, the EDC has brought up as well, but. Um, I know that they want to do some things with the golf course, and now that the city has gone wet, that will open up a lot of opportunities yeah. there. And he and I chatted about how if you could get the park, that would open up the city to more uh, locations where you could host things because we're a little landlocked right now, and right. anytime we do anything at the city, you're having to shut down a major U.S. highway. So um, we talked about maybe looking at that opportunity. Yeah, I mean, so, I, I, I would think it would be a favor for everybody, and we could get the city's fires to patrol out there a little bit yeah. too so i mean that's that's a win-win for us out there too so you can get on the golf car that's right <laughs> <laughs> so, good. that's all i've got um, okay i'll holler at you yeah that's fine just let me know what we need to do on that and we'll go from there all right anybody else have anything not to entertain a motion how about the people who are on sick leave aren't we getting any of the employees back on uh, we're waiting for the determination of whether it's going to be retirement or and or medical disability. And once that is settled, then we've we've got another one ready to hire. Well, but I mean, we're short-handed right now. Well, I know you are, and I I don't have it in the budget to hire somebody else right now. I know that. Okay. What's is the individual the one that's trying to decide which way to go? And no, I think he's, it's a matter of dealing with the, the government, you know, the retirement board, uh, the doctors, everybody coming up, getting all together and making the decision. You know, he's got the doctor's going to have to hmm? help with the medical disability. Yeah, I know that. And go ahead and retire. And so I don't know. I haven't. I've never dealt with a medical disability and retirement at the same time, or at all. So I don't know what the procedure is there. Um, they were supposed to get back with me the first part of this week, and I haven't. They haven't got back with me yet. Okay. Um, for those who may not be aware, I think Stacy has her festival this weekend. Doesn't she say yes. for yes. Yeah, it's a does, does she have a rain yeah. date? I haven't talked to him. I have no clue. I, 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 don't I, I haven't talked to her today, and I got caught, and so I talked to her. Well, she's out, so I have talked to Vicky, but Vicky's helped her. But I don't know if they have a rain date, just in case. But well, I love reindeer. <laughs> what are we standing on the uh, patrolling the two-hour parking downtown? Well. I don't know how how bad do you think it is because I look out a lot of times and I see Main Street's pretty empty, you know. And do you think it's bad enough? That I think it's uh, the parking is the major problem downtown, and we got the lots there that we've just right. finished up, and uh, there's cars parked in there back then so they came in the wrong way right. sit there overnight and all the next day uh, and overnight there's not going to be a whole lot of people going to park but well it, sit it's there a, all the day. two hours the two hours just a 4 30 anyway i think yeah but it uh, they, they stayed all the next day yeah 
again, uh, you know, it's a matter of keeping record of how how many people are down there and well, how many no two hour parking signs is there down Main Street? That's quite well, a few. About every three parking spaces. Yeah. Why? If people see that that signs are there and they can park there all day long and nothing happens to them, why do they pay attention to any signs in Hartford? Well, we do try to enforce that. Uh, someone parked backwards today went down there and got them moved. Yeah. Uh, you talking about just there on Main Street in front of your store? Well, not in front of my store, because I... But up and down there on both sides? Both sides. You know, I've been taking pictures with my phone and then try to come back two, two and a half hours, see if there's any, look at my phone, see if any of the cars are still there. And if they are, they get a ticket. Uh, not a, a state ticket, but a city ordinance ticket. Um, there's still people parking in front of the store over the home health store. Yeah. But the ordinance we, we passed right we voted on tonight should help take care of that. Anybody have anything else? I don't entertain a motion to adjourn. So I make a motion to adjourn. Okay. By each second. All in favor? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.